Today's video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. All right guys, before we get into today's video, uh, if you've been watching any of our previous videos or following us for a while, you'd know that we stay in a lot of different hotels, Airbnbs, uh, we catch a lot of buses and trains and airplanes. And because of that, I'm a very, very light sleeper. So when I'm in a different room every night, I kind of struggle with my sleep and I need things to be a certain way. So when we discovered Mantis Sleep, and most specifically their sleep mask, um, I was all in to try it because I'd been struggling with my sleep for a while. And so we got this Manta Sleep Pro Mask, which I've been using now for about three months, and my sleep quality has improved 100%. I'm the heavy sleeper out of the two of us, and Lloyd has almost been sleeping as much as me now, which has been a godsend. <laughs> yeah. What makes the Manta Sleep Mask different to others is just how comfortable it is. It's made from soft, breathable and durable materials and the cups that you see here make it so there's zero pressure on your eyelids. So the best thing about this mask is that it's completely blackout which means you can sleep anywhere during the day. Uh, if you're on a bus or if you're in an airport or whatever and you just want to take a quick nap you can chuck it on and it'll be like you're in a completely dark room. I'll be totally honest I never really thought I would be someone who sleeps with a mask on every night but for the last 90 days I've not slept without it and my sleeping has improved so much that I'm probably just going to keep doing it. So if you're interested in getting your own Manta sleep mask head over to their website and check them out they've got thousands of five star reviews and if you're interested in buying one uh, we'll leave the link down below for you. Just remember to use code Lloyd and Mandy 10 at checkout for 10% off your first order. Thank you so much Manta Sleep for sponsoring this video and now let's get into it. We're Lloyd and Mandy, digital nomads that have been traveling the world full-time living in Airbnbs, hotels and resorts for over a year. We've stayed in our fair share of risky hotels during our travels, but this one might be the most risky so far. For the next 24 hours we will be staying in a mystery hotel in Playa del Carmen for the first time. Okay, so it's a couple of days till Christmas and we decided that we were gonna treat ourselves to a night out at a hotel rather than staying home and we'll go to a nice hotel, maybe go out to dinner or have dinner somewhere. When we started looking for hotels in Playa del Carmen, we found this website and it's called Hotwire. And basically you jump on, you put in where you wanna stay and it brings you up a whole bunch of hotel deals. They're like 50% off, 40% off like really cheap but the catch is that you don't know what hotel you're booking it's a mystery hotel we started thinking maybe that'd be a fun thing to do for tonight so we're going to book a hotel a mystery hotel for tonight um we have no idea what the hotel is going to be what it's going to be called all we know is that it's in playa del carmen so i've put in playa del carmen here and it gives us a few options here this is a three and a half star hotel for basically half price 46 dollars in the centro area but I think we want to go a little bit nicer than that, don't we? Yeah, let's treat ourselves. Ooh, four star for $98 a night. Four star hotel, Centro area, $98. That's a pretty good deal, 100 bucks, 31% off. Three and a half star, $84. There's some pretty good deals here. I think the four star one, look at the reviews, four and a half out of five. So mm. that's Expedia reviews. So that's usually pretty good. It includes a pool, bed, Wi-Fi. So it shows you the amenities. It's near the beach, it has a restaurant, it has a pool. I think we should do it. Four star, four and a half star reviews out of five. If it's bad, it's it'll be funny. Yeah, if it's bad, it'll be funny. And if it's good, it's a good travel hack for a nice hotel for cheap. All right, I'm gonna book it. Let's do it. All right, it's going to reveal our hotel. I'm nervous, I hope it's not shit. <laughs> Ooh, that looks sick. it looks awesome. We're at Luna Playa del Carmen. Cool. Should we pack our bags and go? Let's do it. That turned out pretty good. I'm excited to see if it's as nice as the photos. We just got to drop Bear off at his um, puppy play date, I guess he's having. Uh, we have a local lady that's looking after him when we need to go do work. She's absolutely beautiful. There's other dogs there so he gets to socialize as well. So we're going to drop him and then head to the hotel. All right, 
Elliot just dropped Bear off. Seems like he's going to be happy there. A few other dogs for him to hang out with while we go have a night in a mysterious hotel. <laughs> Do you feel sad? Like you just dropped off your kid at um, kindergarten or something? Yeah, I don't know how I'm ever going to be a parent because just doing that with Bear is the hardest thing ever. <laughs> But it's very convenient. Um, we found a really good pet sitter here, so now we can go and do our work and not worry about Bear yeah. while we're gone. So we're just about to pull up to the hotel and it's right in the middle of Playa del Carmen. One street back from Fifth Ave. In a pretty ideal location. Plenty of restaurants and stuff around. Let's see how it looks inside. We didn't get to choose our room, but they gave us a king room, which is pretty good. Sometimes we check in hotels and we get two single beds, it's pretty annoying. Not sometimes, most times. I don't know, pretty much since we got married, <laughs> yeah. they haven't been letting us sleep in the same bed. <laughs> with this room. The location's awesome. It's just across the street from Coco Bongo. The room's massive. This is pretty much bigger than our apartment, if not the same size. <laughs> nice, beautiful, big king bed. We've got a mini fridge in here. Huge shower, like the biggest waterfall shower. I can't wait to use it in the morning. We've also got a massive TV that I think has Apple TV on it. And they've also included a white noise machine, which I've never seen in a hotel room before, which is pretty cool. Turn it on. That's actually so nice. We might have to get one of them for our van, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, where do we live? Um, they've also included, we don't drink coffee, but I'm really tempted to drink it. This sounds so good. Dark chocolate toffee. Cherry and walnut. I'm gonna have to drink. We're gonna have tomorrow. to drink it. I think we're gonna have to try it in the morning. Yeah. For the vlog. That'll be it. We'll be back on coffee after that. Yeah, I bet we would. There's a big um, mirror too. Kettle and a big mirror. Big what? Mirror. <laughs> mirror. And nice big bath and a big shower. This is awesome. I'm really excited to check out the rooftop. Uh, I think breakfast is gonna be awesome. And sunset's just in a few hours, so we'll be able to have some dinner maybe or a drink up on the rooftop and watch sunset. All right, let's go check out the rooftop pool and get something to eat because I'm starving. Ready? Yeah. What's the lighting in here? It's so beautiful and it smells 
so good in here, like cinnamon or something, like the whole building smells amazing. Solid too. and some margaritas. sushi restaurant downstairs and all of the sushi rolls all day every day are two for one so we'll leave the link in the description if you are coming to play Adel Carmen because it's really cheap I haven't tried them yet hopefully they're good um, but that's a really good deal what drink did you get man? got a lemonade massive a later lemonade with Garfield on no. I'm not a huge I thought it was Garfield <laughs> It sort of looks like Garfield. Yeah. I'm not a huge pulp fan either. Just heaps of pulp. That's Is it? Okay. Yeah. So much food. <laughs> like usual. You always over order. No, it's two for one though. What else could you do? You just got just two get two. <laughs> We did our best. Still heaps left over. Good thing we have a fridge in our room. We're gonna take it away. Uh, we've just come across the street to 5th Avenue to see what's going on and what's around us. It's not too busy out here tonight, but it's seriously so close to the beach. Like, this hotel is worth way more than what we paid for it.
just stopped here for breakfast, which looks awesome. Had a pretty good sleep last night. It was so comfy. For once, get a little holiday and didn't get drunk. We just watched <laughs> a couple of movies. I'd say the only little downside is that it is in a very loud area, but they've got like double pane glass, which made it not too bad. And then they also had that uh, white noise thing that we turned on, so I didn't really hear much. There was a couple of sirens. I could hear maybe a bit of a nightclub going on in the distance, but for where we are, it was really good. We're just gonna eat some breakfast and then go for a walk around Fifth Ave because it's like perfect weather right now. Okay, so breakfast included tea, juice, fruit, a bunch of toast and you could either choose from French toast, eggs, or what was the other one? Chilaquas. Chilaquas? <laughs> I can't remember how to say it. That's the thing that I got in um, Mexico City where it's like corn chips and salsa. Oh, right, right, right. It's not really a breakfast thing. No. Before we moved to Australia, there was no way I would have drank in a hot drink out in weather like this, but I've changed. <laughs> drinking? Drinking. Drank? Drank? Drinking. <laughs> Drunk. Drunk. I don't know. Apparently it's never too early to start drinking in Mexico. We're getting offered tequila for our Starbucks. Calls it a Mexican breakfast. I don't know about that. Alright, just packing up, getting ready to leave, and we just realized there's a yoga mat in the closet. I'm devastated because I just used the towel this morning, but if you do stay here, check the closet for the yoga mat. I think that's so awesome, such a nice touch. Anywhere else that we've stayed has not had that. Alright, just checked out of the hotel, it was super simple. Uh, we're just going to go pick up Bear from his doggy daycare. Yeah. After our mystery hotel experience, it was awesome. I'm really happy that we did it. I highly recommend trying it for a date night or if you just wanna save some money on staying at a nicer hotel. It was really nice. We got to stay somewhere we wouldn't have normally picked. Uh, it was in a great location, great food, really great room. I really recommend it. We'll leave the link in the description to that hotel as well as the booking site that we used to do the mystery hotel if you're interested in doing it. Uh, we really appreciate all of your support if you made it this far in the video thank you if you're new here don't forget to subscribe join our patreon and we will see you guys in the next video bye